Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Look, my voice is almost back to normal. <laughs> Yay! I'm getting there slowly but surely, but I'm getting there. Um, Today is day 16 of Angie and Sandy's Christmas is Terrific Gift Exchange. I did it! <laughs> Oh, man. So Angela is back home now. She's back from her trip from Nova Scotia. They found a house. They're just waiting to see if um, if the paperwork's going to go through. She showed me pictures of it. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. And she's back. She's exhausted, but she's happy. <laughs> We had a long talk yesterday uh, on video chat, and um, yeah, it was good to catch up and, and to talk future YouTube stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, yeah, yay. <laughs> yeah, and I realized something when I was watching her video. I watched her video this morning. I gave her a lot of hand cream. <laughs> I had no idea. You know, it's like you you go and you get stuff and then you put the wrap wrap it up, you put it in the box. Take something else, wrap it up, put it in the box. And after a while you kind of just lose sense of what you actually bought or go you know, it's like, oh my god, like she's opening this stuff up and I'm going, Man, she's not gonna need hand cream for the next two years. <laughs> But, ow, oh, anyway, <laughs> I'll do better next year. I promise. <laughs> so anyway, um, I did my, I got all my boxes unpacked yesterday for my yarn hauls. I did all the videos. I batch videoed them. So they will be coming out every couple of days. Um, I'm sure you guys have just seen the video of my yarn room. I'm sure that people are just gasping. <laughs> but <laughs> I've had a lot of some comments um, saying that it looks like it was fun. It was not fun. It was very stressful and I don't like doing it. <laughs> so <clears throat> um, I'm glad it's over. I still have a couple of things that I need to unpack, uh, like um, bag wise. Uh, but for the most part, it's finished. Now I got to get rid of the big boxes that I had my yarn haul stuff in. I got to break them down and get rid of them. Um, I did put all the, that yarn away and I still have room for more. But then I re realized that I have a Joanne's order coming. <laughs> it's my first ever Joanne's order. I've never ordered from them. Um, I have no idea what to expect. I really, really hope I don't get charged a stupid amount of money. It's coming by courier, I believe. <clears throat> so I might get a bit of a courier fee. But other than that, um, if all goes well with Joann's, they may, may be my go-to. Uh, get rid of Hirschner's and start with Joann's. Excuse me, with Joann's or something. Uh, because I don't think I'll ever be making another order with Hirschner's. Uh, because of... and But the thing is... Okay, this is the thing. Darla, Darla the Crafty Yarn Owl, she contacted me. And she did a video on this too. Because she got a Hirschner's order. She apparently contacted Hirschner's to find out why we're getting charged this amount of money. And they're telling her... That it's taxes, Canadian taxes. That makes no sense to me. Because, um, I mean, duties and taxes, yeah, okay. But $200? $80 a box in taxes? Like, come on, man. Like, that's not right. Like, I mean, I think what our government is trying to do is stop us from buying stuff in the States. And keep everything local. Well, okay, fine. But you know what? Then give us something to shop at. 
You know, all we have is Michaels and Walmart and they're crap. If you want us to start shopping in, in our own country, then you need to up your game and give us like a Hobby Lobby, like a store similar to Hobby Lobby or a Hobby Lobby or like a Joann's or something like that. Now I remember they brought in Target. They brought a Target to Nanaimo and it lasted maybe a year or two before they closed it because the prices were not the same kind of pricing as they had in the States. Um, they upped it to Canadian pricing and it wasn't worth it. So nobody shopped there. So they had to close the doors. People were pissed. They were like, you know, you can't bring a Target to Canada and then have stupid pricing like that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, open up a Canadian style store, but make it comparable to a store in the States, you know, like a Hobby Lobby, um, so that we have something somewhere to shop because I mean, I just, oh, I'm never going to do that again. What really ticked me off was that it would blindsided me. We had no idea that we were getting charged that, you know, so that was, that made me mad. Because if I didn't have that money, I wouldn't have, I would have had to send those boxes back. And I know for a fact that Hirschners would not have refunded my money because of what happened to me last time. Because I contacted them and said, you know, my order, I didn't get my order and whatever. And they said it was delivered to your post office. So it's out of our hands and I was like, so you're telling me I'm out a hundred dollars, you know, and they said it's out of our hands. We delivered it. So I would have lost almost $500, um, because Hirschner's would not have given me my money. So I had no choice. So anyway, okay. Rant over. <laughs> this was not meant to be like a vloggy, you know, rant session, but I guess that I just needed to say that. <laughs> so <clears throat> until Hirschner's fixes their shipping issues, I am not going to be ordering from them again. So <clears throat> hopefully Joanne's comes through. Okay. I got a Christmas card and I opened it already. <laughs> Sorry. I, did, I don't know what I was thinking, but it says, Merry Christmas. <clears throat> and it's from Cindy the Crocheter A. Hi, Cindy. Um, oh, do I have my glasses? I have my glasses today, guys. I was thinking ahead. It says, Dear Sandy, George, and Fur Baby. <laughs> it says, Wishing you much success in 2023 with everything. Same to you, girl. Uh, Merry Christmas. And again, um, for fast healing. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, girl. I'm trying. Uh, thank you for, thank you, my friend, for everything. What have I done? <laughs> I haven't done anything lately. Um, <clears throat> love from Cindy and Autumn. Autumn's her cat. <clears throat> and look what she made me, you guys. Aren't those cute? Oh, I love them. I got another ornament for the tree. There we go. Can you see them? Mom? Can't really see them there, can you? Yeah, you can. There we go. <laughs> ornament on the tree. Yay. I'll put this Christmas card here. There we go. Okay. Now, um, I messed up my back a little bit, guys. So I'm trying really hard not to twist and stuff. Yeah. Stupid me trying to lift those boxes. I had George right here. I don't know what I was thinking. So, yeah. Okay. Day six. Day 16? Yeah. Day 16. Ah, there it is. <clears throat> now, Bailey's not here today. Oh, look. I got a bar, a, an arrow bar. Okay. I'm going to do this right now because I, I hope, 
hopefully you guys could see it. An arrow bar has bubbles inside. Oh, whoops. And this is what I mean. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Mm. It's it you see it way better with the um the big ones. So maybe I'll go go and buy a big one. Um and then show you guys. Yeah, you can't really see it with the small one. Oh, I guess this is a breakfast of champions. <laughs> um I'll get a bigger arrow bar and I'll show you what it looks like. With these, it's really fun to pop it in your mouth and just swirl it around in your mouth and then you can feel all the bubbles. Um, I don't know exactly how they do this. <clears throat> they must have like push air through the chocolate or something with the cooling process or something to make the bubbles actually stop, like, solidify. But, um, yeah, it's a really cool bar. So, okay, so I guess I'm opening this. Bailey! Nope, ignoring me. <clears throat> so, I'll open hers up today. Uh, number 16, right here. This box is getting torn to pieces. Anyway, how do I open it? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is the beef liver. <laughs> so, she might eat these. I don't know. <clears throat> so, I've made a decision, an executive decision, that I'm going to send these to Angela's puppies because Bailey's not, she's snubbing her nose up at everything. So I'm going to send what I have <laughs> to Angela's puppies. <clears throat> Let them enjoy it. <clears throat> Might as well eat the rest of this. <laughs> okay. So I think we're on the left side of the tree. Oh, well, stop. All right, we'll grab this one. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is a color I haven't had before. Oh. Oh, okay. It's I Love This Yarn Print. My favorite. But look at the color. Holy Toledo. Oh, wow. That is an amazing color. I got two of them. Oh, wow. I guess I should tell you about it. It's called Mint Tea. Oh, that is gorgeous. I, I don't think I've... I don't know if I've seen this color on the website before. Is this a new color? I don't know. Huh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to use that. Mm. Oh, I got to think about this one. Oh, my God. That's, oh, I love that. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> now I'm sitting here thinking. Huh. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Angela. You picked out the best yarn, man. <clears throat> You're good at this. I have to get you to do this more often. Oh, I can't because you're going to be in Nova Scotia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Oh, I'm I'm excited about that. I really like that. Okay, gotta stop thinking about it. I have an idea for um, a couple of uh, a couple of patterns that <clears throat> for hats and stuff. Oh, that reminds me, I have another hat pattern out. If you're interested, it's on my Etsy page. Um, I'm going through all of my old patterns and I'm revamping them and um making them better <laughs> so uh so yeah it's called pearls for me and it's in my etsy shop okay um so the question for yesterday was do 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 do, do where is it um those eyes are all aglow uh, whose eyes are all aglow in the christmas song you guys are so smart um, and as soon as I shut the camera off, George yelled out the answer. <laughs> I was like, mm. <coughs> okay, the answer is tiny tots. So here is the winner of yesterday. And the answer, uh, the question for today is, which country has a tradition of a witch uh, a, like a witch, you know, Halloween witch, a witch dropping gifts for Chris, for children through the chimney at Christmas. What? Which country has the tradition of a witch dropping gifts for Christmas through the chimney at Christmas? Hmm. Um, that's interesting. I just know a Krumpus, right? But Krumpus is, that's not the answer. Krumpus. Maybe daddy's home. <laughs> Krumpus is, um, is a bad guy, right? And he wouldn't be dropping off. Oh, now George is trying to phone me. Um, so yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Well, I do because it's right there, but normally I wouldn't know the answer to that. So... Put your comments down below, and I will tell you the answer tomorrow for today. Okay, I better go see what George has to say. I love you all, and I will talk to you then. Bye. <laughs>